I just brought these quarters down from the ranch, dropped them off here at my dad's sawmill. You might hear the busy road out here. That makes this a good place for him to have a lumber yard. I'll show you his mill real quick. It's an LT15 just like mine. He does more milling than I do. He has a better setup here than I do. Lumber yard over here. I would show you around more, but we have work to do. We're gonna go up to my property, which is in between here and the ranch. Go get a load of firewood. Got this one loaded up. We'll haul this into town, take it to a customer. I got that one delivered. Now I'm back for another load. With this pile done, we'll move the trailer over. Finish out on the other pile over there. But it's getting late in the day. I don't deliver this one until tomorrow late afternoon. Instead of driving all the way back out to the ranch for the night, only to have to come back here tomorrow, I'm going to set up camp here tonight. Got the bed leveled. Just like that, camp is all set up. Earlier today, I put my solar shower out so I will have hot shower water. Don't worry, Paul, I'm not gonna show it on this video. It is a beautiful night to be sleeping outdoors. I prefer to sleep in the back of a truck, especially in weather like this. When I'm in the back of the truck, I'm up off the ground away from things that creepeth and crawleth like rodents and snakes. If something goes bump in the night, I can sit up and look around, see what's going on, take care of the situation if needed. But if I was down on the ground in a tent, if something went bump in the night, you can't see out of the tent unless you happen to be looking out a window, if the tent has one. In the rare event that a bear wanted to get to me, not that I've ever heard of bears getting people around here, it would have to make a whole lot of ruckus to get up into the truck. And by that time, I can deal with the situation. If a hungry bear comes along and there are people in a tent, they are basically packaged food for the bear. My sister got me this little butane stove years ago. I think it was just some cheapo thing, but I've gotten a lot of use out of it. That's the name of it. If you want to look it up, I don't even know if they make them anymore. On the menu tonight, chicken tikka masala. It's an Indian dish. Someone special made that for me. It's not what I would typically eat out here, but it worked out well. Have some leftovers that need to be used up. This will be a nice treat. I think it's good to spend the night out under the stars sometimes. I think a lot of us don't do it enough. I have my own constellations. There's a frog over there. There's a dinosaur way over there, but you can't see it from here because of those trees. There's an eagle up here. There's a Remington electric razor from the 80s up here. It's a diving duck over there. There's a W. Where is the W? I can't remember. Might be up here. Actually, I don't know if it's a W or an M. Someday if I get a camera that actually shows the stars well, I could point these out to you at night instead of just pointing at the daytime sky. But over here on the southern sky, there's a duck foot, or it could be a goose, some kind of a webbed foot. I'm not sure which one it's actually supposed to be. There's also what I have always thought was the control for a three-point hitch on a tractor. 
but I'd recently heard that that's supposed to be Scorpio. I could kind of see the tail on it, and yeah, maybe some pinchers, but I'm not so sure about that. Some of these constellations, I'm not real convinced that they are what they're supposed to be. There's probably not a whole lot of point in pointing out constellations in the daytime, and I'm gonna burn my dinner if I don't do something with it. My constellations are different. They actually look like they are what they are. It's looking good. Chow time. Food is just better when it's cooked or warmed up on a tailgate. Just eat it out of the pan, saves extra dishes. It would probably be rude to eat in front of you. We'll skip that. We'll come back to this later. Not to this, but this. Morning. I got my bed made already, put away. I decided not to demonstrate sleeping. I figure you probably already have that worked out already. You probably get the gist of how that works. And some things are best left unshown. Well, let's take a walk out in the woods, see if we can find some breakfast. I found them up here last fall. It might be a little early this year, but we'll see. We had a little bit of rain. This big limb fell out of this big Douglas fir. It's so big we could put it on the sawmill. This is what we're looking for. There's a really small one. Another really small one. These other ones are still really small. I'll leave them for now, maybe they'll get bigger. These are weird looking, but they are good eating. One of the ways you can identify a chanterelle, they're a little bit stringy and peel apart like a chicken breast, cooked chicken breast. little olive oil in the old Wagner skillet. Griswold gets all the attention for being the sought after old iron skillets. I think Wagner's just as good. Much better than any of the new ones you'll find that I know of. I have the burner turned down way low. I keep it well below the smoke point of olive oil. I find real olive oil works well for keeping the pans seasoned. Normally I would start out by sauteing some onion first, but I forgot the onion. Maybe a little bit of jalapeno if I have that too. This is only going to be a mediocre breakfast. Pepper, salt. A single egg contains everything in it to create a new life, a new animal. I think we can get some nourishment out of eggs. Chow time. I may not look like it, but we eat well around here. Since I didn't make enough for all of you, I'll spare you this part. We'll come back later. If you are in a place where mosquitoes play dirty, this kind of camping might not work well for you. But around here, mosquitoes, they can be obnoxious, but at least they play a fair game. They don't come after you at night while you're sleeping. Mosquitoes around here go to bed at night and there just aren't that many around here to begin with. Well, enough fooling around, time to get back to work.
It is now time to call this load a load because it's now loaded. Let's get these sticks into town. Out here is a much better place to be, but town is where the customers are. After I dump these off, we'll go out to the ranch for tonight. Another good place to be.